one. Welcome to my electronic career portfolio. My name is Loxley Slocum. I attend Thomas County Central High School where I'm a sophomore. Over the past few years, I have really sparked an interest in pediatric oncology. My, I plan to pass my CNA test my junior year and further my education by attending Emory in Atlanta or attending the University of Florida in Gainesville. In my portfolio, you will find a variety of information that deals with my desired career path, serving children with pediatric oncology needs. A pediatric oncologist is someone who um, serves pediatric patients who have either cancer or a blood disorder. They treat patients from um, infants to 18 year olds. One of the most important things that they do to treat their patients is create an individualized treatment plan. The individualized treatment plan allows them to sit down with their patient and really understand their full needs while creating a treatment plan that is best for them and their bodies. Um, some of the qualifications that a pediatric oncologist needs is pre-medical, medical school, residency, and fellowship. But they don't only just need medical skills, they also need personal skills. Some of those include caring, compassion, determination, hard working, and dedication. The salary falls under the same guidelines as oncology and hematology as they are very similar. According to the American Medical Group Association, the general annual salary is $212,577 annually. Pediatric oncologists receive a lower income than those who treat non-pediatric patients, however. I, I attended the healthcare pathway at my high school my um, freshman year, so my junior year I will hopefully be able to take the CNA test and then I will be able to train my senior year as a um, CNA at, um, at off-site campuses and local nursing homes. I can, I'm able to do that with this program because we have very hands-on learning in a classroom that is designed as a real hospital. I also am a part of HOSA, which is the Health Occupation Students of America, where we also get a lot of hands-on experience. When finding the right career path to follow, it is easier when you have had a personal experience. For me, it was very easy for me to understand what I wanted to do after meeting my amazing team of oncologists. Some special skills required for a pediatric oncologist is patience, compassion, and communication skills. You need patience so that you will be able to um, Listen to your patient's needs and take all the time possible to help them. You also need compassion because they're going through very, very hard times and you need to be able to understand what is going on while also helping them in the best way possible. Communication skills is one of the most important skills in any workplace, but especially in the healthcare field. You need to have proper communication skills so that you'll be able to not only communicate with your um, colleagues, but also to communicate with the family that, of your patient. So a little bit about me. I am a pediatric cancer survivor myself. When I was 12 years old, I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma at the beginning of seventh grade. I had to go through 10 preliminary weeks of chemo followed by a major surgery that consisted of a 19 centimeter femur remover and removal and also a knee replacement using my natural kneecap. After my surgery, I had to also have tons and tons of physical therapy and after that, I also had to have um, 20 more weeks of chemo. The physical therapy took about a year and it was a very long and rigorous process. In my resume, you will see that I attend Thomas County Central High School, where I am in college preparatory classes. I also am in advanced and honors courses, and I also have some personal experiences as well. Um, my personal experiences with working with children is I am a camp counselor at a local camp in my hometown, and I am also a babysitter um, all throughout the year. 
Some more things that keep me busy during the school year are sports. I'm very active in our varsity swim team and our varsity um, tennis team. And I also am the cheerleading um, manager for um, competition and spirit squad. I also am in multiple clubs. I am in um, HOSA, which I talked about earlier. I am in FBLA. I'm also an FBLA officer, and I have been in Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy before. The most important personal experience I have is I am a Children's Miracle Network ambassador, which is, allows me to make um, some really cool fundraising experiences just like this commercial. Since I was 12, I've gone through 17 rounds of chemo. Now, I'm better because of the care I received from the UF Health Change Children's Hospital, with support from the Sebastian Ferrer Foundation. I can't wait to pick up my pom-poms and get back to cheerleading. Did I get that right, Loxley? Yep, we've got spirit. Yes, we do. We've got spirit. How about you? First day. Help children tell their stories. Thank you so much for your interest in my presentation and my following career um, aspirations. Thank you so much.